gaslight a psychological thriller in four parts. Late term betrayal. There are no slaves. Anyone that sets foot here becomes free. Men and women are equal before the law. Article 19, Pinochet's Constitution. Our fathers swore at our nation's conception, all men are created equal with unalienable rights, life, liberty, and 23 years later, they aborted their oath, signed a constitution which denied those rights to women, native people, slaves, forsaking eternal truth. Whiteness is all colors. Even Chile's tyrant did better. Martha's dowry and George's will. He was one of the few who was not carried away by power, Robert Frost. He was 11, heir to the family farm and 10 slaves. Later that year, he bought eight more and yet another seven as a young man. He lived three generations at his death he owned 123 and 153 more. Martha's dowry doubled in their 20-year marriage. His and hers, hers hostage to the law destined for return to her first husband's heirs. George's death freed his own, though he left it to Martha to sign their deeds. He was our first king in all but name, principled and elegant, said Abigail Adams. Afterward, from the writing workshop. One, it's didactic. Two, how many times did someone post the same thing on Twitter today? Three, it tells me what to think. Four, I can't tell if the piece is meant to undercut or support the Frost quote. These from four of the five men present. The fifth abruptly left the meeting as I read the poem when he called me the next day. One, it's not poetry. Two, you disrespect the father of our country. Three, Henry Hyams and Judah Benjamin were Jews and Confederate government officials. Most people owned slaves and you would have too. Four, we ended slavery in less than 100 years. That's an extraordinary accomplishment. Five, it's hate speech. I asked about this last, his answer, it's didactic. I urged him, you really should read White Fragility. I had given him a copy last year. He responded, I couldn't understand it. Anyway, my girlfriend is African-American. My dear friend, if we had sat together in a Berlin cafe on that black election day in 32, sharing our art, laughing and learning. I know you would have spoken for evil, though the beast and his brown shirts were weaker then than ours are now. Would you still have spoken so in 33 when their mad master, so like ours, triumphed? or weeks later when their capital burned, or the next day when their Patriot Act passed, or the next month when their Manzanar opened. What say you now, so like then, just weeks since our president's darlings, the uncolored beasts swarmed our Reichstag? Which of us will pick up your tab this time? And what will it be? When is the end of friendship?
Will you speak for the monsters still, tender yet again, the caress of your madness to all of us who love you? Gaslight, a psychological thriller in four parts.